Yo, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to another YouTube video. So in this one, I'm going to be showing you guys how to basically switch back to Windows 10. And this is really good just because you want to be able to use Windows 10 if you're on older PC parts, just because you are going to get a 10 to 20 FPS boost just switching back to Windows 10, just because Windows 11 is great when it comes to certain stuff, but there's a lot of bloatware, lots of security features that are pointless and stuff that are inferior compared to Windows 10 for gaming. So if you want the best performance, usually on older pc parts this is just how it is you get 10 and 20 more fps on windows 10 but i would recommend testing however for most of you to be honest i would just do windows 10 a lot of my clients i only use windows 10 so a lot of them are pretty much chilling on there so i think general consensus unless you really need windows 11 for specific things like for example a lot of people can use efficiency cores way better on windows 11 so if you are a intel fan you have a 12th gen 13th gen or 14th gen cpu and you want to use efficiency cores I probably would recommend just sticking to Windows 11 or just somehow replicating the function of Windows 11 scheduler for efficiency cores on Windows 10. Now, regardless of that, a lot of you pretty much just ignore that. It's just pointless information. But for most of you, you're looking for that 10 to 20 FPS boost and just lower latency in general. So before we get started, I just want to say this will wipe your drive completely. You will not be able to keep any of the files that is on your C drive. So back up your files to a cloud drive like Google Drive, OneDrive, or something similar, or just drag it to a different drive that is installed into your PC or just get a USB stick external drive and drag the files that you actually need on there. But anyways, let's get started. All right, guys. So head over to the link in description to go to the Windows 10 download page. And it's not going to let us download the Windows 10 ISO file, which is what we need. It's a specific file that ends in .iso. So whatever is showing right now here, just ignore all of this. Just right click anywhere, click inspect, click the little icon right here where it shows this like laptop and iPhone screen. Just click this and you should have this on most browsers just look for it and then in the dimensions it will say responsive on default just change this to iphone 14 or iphone 12 whichever one and then just refresh the page then you can exit out of all of this and as you can see we can now choose the windows 10 multi-edition iso and then press confirm so this is a really important step if you didn't get it just rewatch this little clip right now just to get that down so select product language just choose your language all right so once you just click 64 bit download and this is for everyone once you do that it's going to start downloading and just wait for that it's going to take depending on your internet speed a pretty long time or pretty short time so once you have it downloaded it's going to be in your downloads folder so all we're going to do is we're going to basically just right click on this and if you have 7-zip or winrar make sure to have that installed so you could do this step right here just right click on it click extract files and then press ok and just let that do its thing all right so once it's done extracting it's going to make this folder right here just double click on this folder double click setup.exe and just click change how windows setup downloads updates press not now press next press accept and it's not going to let you choose any of these other ones just keep it selected on nothing press yes and then you press yes and as you can see it's going to install windows 10 pro and it's going to keep nothing so once i press install it will start the process of resetting the computer and switching the computer back to windows 10 and completely wiping the drive and giving you a fresh slate of windows 10. now for a lot of you you are going to have to basically keep your ethernet drivers on your drive just in case because on windows 10 for whatever reason it doesn't come with ethernet drivers so you're not going to have internet unless you keep this on a usb stick or some other drive so go to your motherboard's website and download the network drivers from there it could be wi-fi or ethernet just download them just in case and then put them somewhere safe and pretty much if you need to install them once you load it into windows 10 you can install them so for example if you're trying to figure out what motherboard you have and download the network drivers for it just go to your search bar in windows type ms info 32 look for base product and it will tell you the motherboard model right here so as you can see i have the b450 tomahawk max so i'm just going to right click on this and or just press ctrl see on my keyboard paste it into google erase this and erase this and just go to the support page and go to driver choose windows 10 64 make sure to do this it's really important or else your drivers will not install if they're on windows 11 so choose that go to land drivers and just download this all right so once it's downloaded literally just put it on a different drive and then once you reset the pc after you press install right here and it's going to start resetting your pc you'll pretty much be able to access this other drive and then just download the driver from here and install it if you need internet for whatever reason but just do that if you really need to highly recommend everyone doing that especially 
especially if you have an Intel Ethernet adapter. Those do not come, usually do not come pre-installed within Windows 10. So make sure to do that if you're on a Z690 motherboard, Z790 motherboard, or some motherboard that has a Intel Ethernet adapter. So make sure to go download the network drivers from there and then just save them on a different drive, USB stick, or something like that. Just so you just drag them on the desktop on the PC later and install the network drivers so you have internet. If you don't do this, you're not going to have internet. So make sure to do this step. Do not mess this up. And same thing for Wi Fi. So once that's all done and pretty much good to go, we could just start pressing install. And as you see, it will start resetting our PC. But, anyways, that's going to be pretty much it for this video, guys. If you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions, comment down below. And most of you should be able to get this down pretty easily. It's just the Ethernet drivers part might be a bit of a hassle. So make sure to get that figured out depending on what PC you have. So a lot of you might be saying, okay, but a lot of people are saying that Windows 11 is better. So Windows 11 is it better for everyone, I'd say. There is better polling rate support. So if you have a 8,000 Hertz keyboard or mouse, you are gonna get a benefit from being on Windows 11 just because it does support those two things way better. And the second thing would be efficiency cores and an updated scheduler for the new Ryzen 9s. So if you use e-cores or if you use the second CCX in with a Ryzen 9, then these two things probably would perform better on Windows 11. However, you could kind of sort of do the same thing with Windows 10 using something called CPU reserve sets. I have a video on that. Basically, that's only if you have e-cores or if you're on the Ryzen 9. Otherwise, just pretty much ignore that information and just pretty much install Windows 10. You should be good to go. And keep this in mind that this is a factory reset. It will wipe just one of your drives, which is going to be the C drive, your main drive, the drive that Windows was on before. So make sure to keep that in mind because that will happen. And once that's done, you guys are pretty much good to go. You could pretty much enjoy Windows 10 just like how you usually used to and just enjoy your games and pretty much chill out. But anyways, guys, it's going to be pretty much it for me for this video. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If you guys want a full PC optimization service where you get lower input delay, way more FPS, and smoother gameplay, go to the link in my profile. I've worked with people like Google.